Oh, hey. What's poppin', pals? My name is John Barker. I'm the award-winning pitmaster at Beach Bum Barbecue, and I am the executive chef here at Skull and Mortar. Today, we are going to take a California favorite, and I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to make a badass one right at home. This, my friends, is how to make a tri-tip. Now I picked this cut up from my local butcher. Whenever you get a chance, make sure you support your local butchers out there. Build a relationship with them. They're gonna get to know what you're looking for and you're gonna be able to find those premium cut meats. All right, pals, the first thing you wanna do when you're checking out your tri-tip, you wanna flip it over, you wanna check that fat cap on the back. Okay, it's a little thick in some points, but I'm really not all that concerned with it. It seems like it's cut pretty well. What I am gonna do though, is I'm gonna go ahead and score the back of this thing to make sure that the seasoning gets down into the meat. Use whatever knife you prefer, a boning knife, whatever, but I'm just gonna use this. I'm also not gonna put a, a paper towel underneath this cutting board because I'm really hoping that I'll cut a finger off. I would suggest that you put the paper towel under because uh, safety first and whatnot. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably like, I can't believe this guy's gonna try and sell his rub and then use Montreal steak seasoning. This is not Montreal steak seasoning. This is just a basic SPG blend. You can find mixtures for this all over the internet. It's easy, it's salt, it's pepper, it's garlic. Put it together, make it happen. I like to save these bottles because I can mix random seasonings in them and I'm not out any money. You got it for free, you might as well use it. What I'm also gonna do is take a little vegetable spray oil. You can use anything, you can use olive oil, you can use canola oil, whatever you like. I'm just gonna hit this with a little bit to help my rub stick, all right? We don't need a whole lot. We don't wanna go too crazy because we don't want the salt to overtake the flavor of this meat, but you do wanna make sure you get a good coating all over the tri-tip. Make sure that you get you get some rub all over this thing. Get it completely covered. Now, for the most part, you really just want the salt and pepper to get in here. But I'm also going to hit it with a little bit of my barbecue rub because I want it to kind of get some extra peppery notes. And we're just going to do a very light dusting on the top. Very light. We just want a little sprinkle of that taste in there. And here comes a little secret ingredient. A little tiny bit of that MSG, my dudes. I wanted to talk to you about MSG. There's a lot of you guys out there running around with no masks, not keeping six feet of social distance from one another and complaining about how dangerous MSG is. It's not dangerous at all, man. Do some research. MSG is awesome. It's gonna add a ton of flavor to your food, man. Don't be afraid to use it. I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be 100% hot fire. We're gonna throw this guy in the smoker until it hits an internal temperature of 140 degrees. I want my tri-tip at a delicious medium. So I'm gonna cook mine to an internal temperature of about 140 degrees. You can cook yours longer or shorter depending on how you like yours, but you're gonna wanna throw it in at about 250 degrees. I'm using a blend of pecan and hickory, and I think that it's gonna give me a fire smoke accent accoutrement, if you will. So this is a super easy cook, so I'm gonna go ahead and cook a little something else on the side. I'm gonna cook up some mushrooms real quick. I like sauteed mushrooms with my beef. It's gonna have a steakier taste, so these mushrooms are gonna go perfect with it. We're gonna be using a cast iron on an induction burner. If you don't have an induction burner, uh, well, I don't know. Use any burner, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna go ahead and hit our pan with a little bit of the canola oil. Not too much, we don't want anything crazy going on here. We're gonna drop those mushrooms right on in. We're gonna go ahead and hit these with a little bit of that SPG rub we used earlier. We're gonna drop a little balsamic vinegar in there, give it a little bite. And we're also gonna drop a little bit of Worcestershire sauce in there. Guys, I, I don't even have the right tools. I'm gonna give it a little more drip, a little more of this right here. Not that much. Watch your side there. Make sure you're getting it out of the right side. That was almost a freaking catastrophe. Move it around, man. Damn it, dude. I'm supposed to be a real chef over here. They don't even have any tongs. F plastic fork, man. This is the tri tip. All right, we've cooked it. It took about four and a half hours. It's got a great crust on it. You can see there's still plenty of moisture. Let's go ahead and cut into this bad boy. 
I'm gonna cut these in thicker kind of steak cuts because we're gonna eat ours as steak tonight. Look at that, perfect. A lot of people like to cut this uh, thinner and put it on sandwiches, but I'm really kind of feeling it as a steak, if you will. Look at that, look at that. What are you doing with your life, man? If you're not enjoying tri-tip, if you don't know about it, now you know, look at that, delicious. I'm gonna cut this piece right here, right down the middle, and I am gonna have me a bite of this. God, man. I know being from Texas, the what I'm about to say, it's kind of like sacrilege, but if any meat can mess with the brisket, it's this meat right here. Dude, the tri-tip is so phenomenal, and look at it. It's, it's a steak, it's not gonna pull apart like pulled pork, but look at that, dude. Come on, guys. Mmm, that is so good. All right, guys, that's it for me this week. That is how you cook a basic tri-tip that is fantastic. I'm working on compiling all the entries for our contest. We'll have an announcement on that coming soon. As always, I appreciate every single one of you guys that tune in every week and share my videos. I love you guys. I really am happy to be doing this. I know we got a lot of jokes and goofs and gaffes, but I'm really stoked to be here, and I'm really stoked that you guys are part of this community we're building. Don't forget, you can pre-order the sauce down below. Everything I use is in the description. Feel free to click it. It does help the channel if you click that link. I'll see you guys next week with a brand new video. Video.